everybody, I'm at Flash Building, and we're continuing creating our PHP and MySQL newsletter and email blast application. We've covered these four steps already with the check marks on them, the green check marks, in lessons one, two, and three. Now we're continuing on to the email blast part of the application. So the first part of the application is all out of the way. What I'm going to do is talk to you about filtering because we sent their info into a MySQL database but we didn't uh, filter that the form variables so we gotta filter those form variables before we send them to the MySQL database so I'm going to discuss that very briefly before we get going on section 2 here but in section 2 we're going to compose our newsletter body the way it looks and we're going to have an HTML formatted email that gets sent out to everybody that way you can have it colored the way you want the text the way you want and images you can use images that are on your server and refer to that URL for the image right there in the email body and it shows right up okay in part three we created one file that was the form for gathering their name and email address and the parsing mechanism all in one and up here on line nine is where we gather the posted variable for the name and the email when they put the data in that form it gets posted to the same script and here is where we're going to talk about filtering the data. I'm going to put it in a little comment. And the comment says, be sure to filter this data to deter SQL injection. You don't want anybody to be able to uh, apply SQL injection attacks onto your database because it's harmful for your data. And they can also get to certain data that might be private. And so you, what you want to do is make sure you research fully on all the, the different SQL injection protection methods that PHP developers have come up for come up with for this sort of thing and you have to make sure you safeguard from that whenever you're gathering variables from a user you just want to treat everybody like they're the the worst hacker on earth that's gonna rip down your site everybody even if they're cool people don't even give them a chance and I also have examples of uh, filtering data that comes in from forms before it goes into your database in the web intersect series and the custom content management series I have both playlists here at my YouTube channel just hit the little playlist button there on my YouTube channel and you'll see custom CMS and uh, how to create a social network or community and those two lessons show examples of that if you want examples from me. And now it's the fun easy part. You go to file, new, and I think we can just make an HTML page for what we're going to do here. Let's remove all this stuff. We don't need any of that. Actually let's keep the body and the HTML tag. We'll keep the HTML tags and the body tags. Opening and closing for both of those. Alrighty, and in the body tag is where we're going to set up what our page looks like or what our newsletter body is going to look like. And it's important to keep in mind that you can use most web design tactics uh, for populating the body. I mean, any images that are on your server, you can make it look pretty much just like a web page using HTML that's what I'm gonna do okay like I said mine is gonna be super simple so I'm just gonna go into design view in Dreamweaver and I'm gonna add an image I'm gonna use that image button there and let's also go to the code view now in the code view you gotta make sure it doesn't say file da -da 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 -da, on your system it has to be from the website so you have to say HTTP colon slash slash www.developphp.com you put your site there put the forward slash to your images folder Mine, my image happens to be in my style folder so that's where I'm going to refer to it now if I press design it's still going to show up but it's going to refer to that file from online and you can even set the link to develop PHP on that 
So let's just grab the link developphp.com. See, go into code view or design view rather. Highlight that image and let's make an image link out of it. Press Control V right there. Paste it in. And let's give it a border of zero so it doesn't have that ugly blue border on it there. Border zero will get rid of that ugly blue border on your image links. All right, so that's really the main complicated part that most people would have trouble with is referring to the images they want. What most people would do as a mistake is make this say refer to their C drive like it did with me, my documents and settings on my local computer. The people who get this newsletter would never ever see that file because it's sitting on your local computer and the web can't access that. You have to have this file on your server which I do. I have my file on my live web server developphp.com. It's in it's in my style folder. It's a picture called logo layoutlogo.png. So that's the most important thing to realize here when you want to use images within your newsletter body. Okay? A lot of people foul up right there. And that's all you have to realize is that image has to be online, not just on your computer. It's good that if it's in both places relatively the same, that way you can, you know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's what I wound up with for my simple example. You can see it's all HTML formatted. It has like a grayish background. It's not exactly white. There's a horizontal rule there. And uh, there's an H3 tag, heading 3. And then there's my image. And now here in the first line, you can see I'm rendering out a dynamic variable. There's that dollar sign there and the name variable. So if there's three people in your database, like Adam, Susie, and Jill, then you're going to have, hello Adam, that's the first email, it, it blasts out. Then the second email is going to say, hello Jill. The third email is going to say, hello Bill, whatever the third name was. And then uh, you can put whatever information you want, whatever links you want, whatever pictures you want in the body. And... Uh, it doesn't have to be set up like it look just like a web page if you want nice div borders and colors and everything like that and then at the bottom it's pretty important to have an opt-out link and the opt-out link I'm gonna show you how to construct the opt-out script and that's a very simple script uh, it's just gonna be a few lines to update the database to remove the listing this person's listing from the database now let's go into the code view so we can take a look at this dynamic variable and the name dynamic variable here. Those are the only two dynamic variables within my email body, my newsletter body. So you can see right here we have the script develop PHP, tests folder, the newsletter folder, and yours ordinarily wouldn't be in a test folder. It would just go straight to the newsletter folder. The optout.php script, which we haven't created yet, that's coming up and it has a URL variable called e which is equal to this person's email address whoever's happened to be blasted this email in the loop so that's always changing to different people's email addresses upon who's coming through the loop and then this name will also change to match the person the email owner's name will display right here and that's how it works. So stay tuned for part five, which I'll be putting up today. There won't be such a large gap in between these, the completion of the lesson here. We're going to bang out the rest tonight within the next couple hours. And then uh, part five, what I'm going to show you how to do is get this into the email blast. It's going to be a PHP script that sends a newsletter body, which we just created, to many people at once. Let's take a good look at that email body one more time. Here's the HTML of it, and I will have this file available for download at the end of the tutorial series. All of these files will be available. I'm using inline CSS styling here, and links will show up and all that good stuff. Okay, now let's just go ahead and save this file as it's not anything we're going to need on the server. We're going to save it as. Let's save it as body design. 
and it's just going to be for you to design your body so when this newsletter gets blasted to everybody you're going to want to change to the next newsletter change the text pictures whatever you're going to do to make it the next campaign and then when everybody gets this newsletter you change the body put it in the script that's how it's going to work so you just keep this file call it body design save in that folder and it can be an html file because that's what it all is is html okay so stay tuned for part five i believe i think we're on part five next and uh... i'm gonna bang these all out within the next couple hours tonight we're gonna finish this up and i'm sorry about the the gap in between one two and three and then four and five okay okay okay